Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Veronica and today you're gonna watch me become a Potterhead. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do So, I'm very much not with it with the fact that I've never watched any of the Harry Potter movies or read any of the books. So it's my goal in this video is to read the first book, watch the first movie, and we're gonna take the Harry Potter quiz to find out which house I'm in, which I think will be very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna start reading now. I don't have any of the physical books because I really wasn't planning on starting this, but I have downloaded it on my Kindle, so that's where I'm gonna be reading it right now. So I guess get ready for a whole bunch of montages, you know? Okay. Hi. So I didn't mention this before because honestly I didn't know that I was going to be doing it, but there's going to be spoilers throughout this whole video. So if you haven't read um, the first Harry Potter book, which I doubt is going to be the case, but you know if you haven't, click out <laughs> because I'm going to be talking about everything in my reactions. Um, so yeah, this is future me letting you know. Okay, so I have officially finished chapter one, and so far I'm really into it. Um, the only thing I'm a little confused about is, like, why Harry survived, but like nobody knows how he survived. So I'm interested to see how that's gonna come about. The aunt and uncle are like, I hate them. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's fine. It's fine. I know, I know Harry's not there. Well, he's there for a while, but like, it's not a long time for me. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna do an update after every chapter, but I figured like the first one should definitely get an update So yeah, there we go. I'm still into it. Yay. All right. Hey guys, it's the next day um, We're gonna finally do the sorting hat test. I'm using my old phone. So I'm gonna screen record everything Okay Tell us about yourself. My first name is Veronica. My last name is Guego. Continue. Discover your house. Okay. Choose one to continue. The moon or the stars. Oh my god, that's actually hard for me because I love both. But I think the moon. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he lets you pass. Do you volunteer to fight? Attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. I think I'd volunteer. Okay, four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try to open? The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. Um, the small pooter box. I don't know if that's actually how you say that. <laughs> I'm, sign, I'm assuming. And plain with a scratched message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. The small tortoiseshell box embellished with gold inside which some small creatures seem to be squeaking. The ornate golden casket standing on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbreakable temptation lie within. I think I'm gonna go with the black box. Okay, a troll has gone berserk in the HUD master's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash crush and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures in which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club if you could a nearly perfect cure for dragon box i don't know how serious dragon box is but i feel like a cure for anything like that should definitely be the first one student records going back a thousand years i mean i don't really think those are important um Especially for past things, like if it was other records, like maybe, but I don't think. And then a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. I feel like magic books are important, you know? Confirm order. 
Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, love, power, or wisdom? I think love. What are you most looking forward to, to learning at Hogwarts? All about magical creatures and how to befriend slash care for them. Fly on a broomstick. A, a pariation or disparation, being able to materialize and de dematerialize at will. Secrets about the castle, transfiguration, hexes and jinxes, honestly every area of magic. If I'm going to do it and I want to do it right. Choose a category to continue. Cats, toads, or owls. I guess cats. A ginger, a white cat, a Siamese cat, a tabby cat, or a black cat. Definitely a black cat. Um, choose one to continue. Tails or heads? Tails. I got Slytherin. I'm genuinely so shook. I really thought I was gonna be a Hufflepuff. Wow, I don't even know myself at this point. Wow. I'm a Slytherin. My friends are gonna be shook. Wow. Okay. Time for a little update. We just finished the part where Harry is learning how to fly his broom and it was very uh, sweet and I love that he's like, he's definitely starting to fit into his um, Gryffindor um, tendencies, I guess. And um, I'm glad to see him become more brave. And I like seeing uh, Ron and his friendship develop and it's, I just, everything to me is very sweet right now. I can see why this was uh, such a popular book for kids back in the day and I just, I'm just so happy that I finally decided to pick it up. It hurts my heart sometimes how alone Harry feels, but I just, uh, I know these relationships are going to grow and develop. So like, I can't wait. And I'm just, I'm listening to uh, the Harry Potter soundtrack while I'm reading and I'm just giving myself all the vibes. But yeah, so far so good. Oh my gosh. I just read the part where um, they fought against the mountain troll and it was so good. I just, I'm just so happy like Hermione like really like just redeemed herself like nothing was wrong with her but she was very annoying but her sticking up for her friends even after the whole drama that they had like I'm just like wow you're so good like I love you bitch um but yeah like she was I love her she's great love them they were amazing as a team and the next chapter is titled uh Quidditch so I'm super excited to see the Quidditch match. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so I have finally reached the end of the book. No more time lapses, I'm gonna record myself and um for any of the big moments you're gonna get my live reaction so yay okay <laughs> there was someone already there it wasn't snape it wasn't even voldemort it was coriel I still hate Snape. <laughs> I guess he's not bad. Snape was trying to save him. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, so Snape was going to school at the same time his par Harry's parents did? Oh my god, what if there's like a love triangle going on thing? That could be interesting. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so true. We literally saw him when Harry went shopping. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Here's the boy. Where is the voice coming from? <laughs> Sorry, I had a phone call. But I canceled it because this is more important. There's a smell coming from his turban. Oh my god. Please, Lord, let it not be like freaking Voldemort's, um, I don't know, however he is able to communicate. Like, I communicate with him. Like, I really feel like it's a dead body part and I'm really not with it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, let me speak to him face to face. I'm not with it, oh my god. What the fuck? Hit that at the back of his head. Oh my god. Dumbledore is literally so funny. He, he says, What happened down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, so naturally the whole school knows. <laughs> like, I love him. So funny. Oh my god. So touching him wasn't only just affecting him, like he, Harry would have died. And he would have done that too, like he didn't care. Oh my god, I love Harry, wow, you're so brave. He truly is a Gryffindor. Dumbledore is literally so wise <laughs> like again he says he says the two things most human beings would choose above all. The trouble is humans do have a knack of choosing precisely things that are the worst for them. Like, you right down the door. Like, honestly, T, we don't know what's best for us. I literally, Dumbledore literally like, I love him. He's like, now Harry, say his name. You, <laughs> that's how you create fear. Like, you're, this man. Ugh. I wish he was in the book more.
I really I can't stand when oh my god. How long am I gonna have to wait guys to find out why his mom died, why Baltimore wanted to kill him? It's probably not gonna come out until the last book knowing knowing my luck, honestly, but you know what? Some something has to drag me along, you know. I don't know why I think that's so, like, <laughs> Professor Snape, like, the only reason why he was helping him was because he wanted to hate his, his father <laughs> in peace. Like, alright man, do you, bro. <laughs> Dumbledore's so funny. He, what brain surprises even me sometimes? Like, same, bro. Me too. <laughs> wow, so Dumbledore's training Harry to defeat Voldemort. Can't wait. his brother that's what he wanted At least he's not trying to kill him. Bro, I feel so bad that Harry has to go back to his aunt and uncle. goodness it was so much better than i expected um you know it was a book that a lot of kids read when they were younger so i really was expecting it to not feel as mature as it did and i'm very happy that it surpassed my expectations um i'm excited to watch the movie i'll do a full wrap up on my thoughts after i watch the movie but as of now I'm very happy and I think I might be a Potterhead. <laughs> I'm here with my best friend Hi. and we're finally and he's gonna watch the Harry Potter movie with me. I read all the series and watched all the movies so. So he knows more than me but I'm finally gonna watch it and I'm so excited. I'll let you guys know how I feel at the end of it. I'm not gonna record because copyright issues and um I don't have money okay. <laughs> bye we'll see you after the movie hey what's up you guys we're finally at the end of this video so as i'm sure you guys can guess 
I will be continuing the series and I am a Potterhead officially. I am so happy that I finally started this series and I'm like low-key kind of mad that I didn't like start sooner but you know I'm here and this is the time where I can just bust out literally the whole series because I'm stuck in my house so why not. I enjoyed the book very much. I gave it a four and a half out of five stars I believe. The movie I'm gonna be honest it was very good I thought they did a good job I don't know I just feel like I was expecting more because of the hype of them but I'm sure it's the first movie so I'm sure as their popularity skyrocketed they'll get a lot better so I'm excited to see how the books and the movies develop um yeah I'm super excited and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and a comment and if you guys want to talk about the first book with me i'd be so happy to do that please leave a comment talk to me about the potterhead what i should do because i'm officially am one is there more quizzes i should take <laughs> to find out more about my house because you know i'm a little surprised about that uh, i love joining a new fandom so please just talk to me guys <laughs> um i'm sorry if you hear anything in the background it is pouring right now so if that's what you hear in the background i'm sorry if it annoys you i can't control the weather but yes please leave a like and a comment and let me know what you guys want to see from me in the future i do have plans of stuff we're definitely going to be doing more reading vlogs because i'm going to be reading a lot now that i'm stuck inside for who knows how long because quarantine let me know if you guys want me to continue with the trend of reading the series with you and just like make this a whole thing a whole big video of my reaction to everything thank you guys so much for, wa for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you next time bye